Welcome to Knife Chats with Tobias, brought to you by the Cat Production Team. A couple of people have asked me about the way I display my knives in the, uh, in, well, my display area. And uh, it's been called Cutlery Cavern and all sorts of other things in the past. We'll just go with display area for right now. Um, and if you notice, it's like a, a, a framework basically made of two by twos and one by twos. Now, the reason I did this is um, originally the way my knives were being displayed is they were on a piece of plywood. And uh, well, what I had done is I had taken, on my end frame, I hope so, I'd taken my trusty knife, made a little hole in the plywood. Yeah, I actually, all of these little cup hooks you see, they were put in place using a, uh, a demo knife and then I took the cup hook and I screwed it in by hand uh, occasionally when it would get really difficult I would take a pair of pliers or something and use the pliers to twist it in um, and when I did it this way the problem was when I would hang the knife it would be hanging like so and it was really close to the uh, the plywood and I was worried about moisture and rust and everything else. Plus, you're seeing either the blade side of the knife or the back side of the knife, and it just doesn't look as good. And so that led me to plan B. I would take the knife, and I bought a whole lot of little uh, key rings, and I added a key ring to the bail of the knife. Sorry, I'm doing this off camera, but. And then I could, uh, with the key ring in place, I could hang the knife like so. But the problem still was, it's still kind of close to the wood. And with some of the thicker knives, it would be resting right against the wood. And I just didn't like that. Um, plus, these little key rings, they get expensive over time. So it's like, how can I eliminate the key rings? And that's when I came up with this idea. So what I did is I screwed in two by twos into the framework up above. A good thing about not having a finished basement, uh, but you could do it in other ways too. And I basically mounted the two by twos up on the top, ran them all the way down to the floor and then I started screwing in one by twos uh, to make the shelf unit and uh, started spacing out the various um, cup hooks. And by doing so, the knives are now about an inch off of the wall, more like three quarters of an inch away from the wall. And what I can do is I can just rotate them back and forth. So I flip them occasionally. Usually when I'm filming them, I always want to have the shield side out. But I occasionally what I'll do is I'll flip them around so that the other side is exposed to the wall in case there is an issue with condensation and such. And because this is basically done slip shot and everything, um, you notice that no two hanging shelves are aligned and that's because basically if you notice this side has a screw and then this side has a screw sometimes there's two screws sometimes there's one screw and then like I mentioned every one of those was drilled in place now these were drilled later the earlier ones uh, they were spaced differently so what you see up here if you notice there were different holes drilled and also you have now seen where I have marked places where I wanted to put uh, holes and uh, then uh, changed uh, my decision on it. So, and you'll see that over, well, that's a new one. And I think this is a new one too, because I moved a lot of stuff around. Um, but that's really what it is. It's just uh, a one by two, simple plywood. Uh, some of them are twisted. I really didn't care and then a two by two for going down and many of these were twisted but over time because of uh, All the other boards that have been screwed into them. I've got them relatively straight 
One other thing is if you notice, you see the shot glasses there. I did purposely leave space below some of the shelves so that I could display the shot glasses. But if you notice, they're held on by a piece of garden wire. So the wire here is what keeps the shot glasses from falling off the shelf. Um, this one needs to be tightened a little bit. You see this one is much tighter. And so that's how I can actually hang something or sit something on the bottom shelf. I could also do that with the ones with boxes and stuff, but I'm not as concerned about a box falling as a shot glass because a shot glass can break. Uh, but um, is this ideal for everyone? Well, it really depends on if you want to display your knives uh, in a fashion. And it also depends on how many knives you have that actually can hang because uh, of my collection of uh, Swiss Army knives and camp knives, this made a lot of sense for me. Other people, yeah, I can see how this would not make a lot of sense for them. But for me, it just seemed to work. And the fact that the knives are not actually on the wall, hitting the wall or anything like that, uh, kind of makes me happy. I did not want them to be resting against the wall. Um, and because the empty space underneath, I can display various uh, boxes and stuff like that. And I do have room still to spare that I could actually put up another shelf if I run out of room. Uh, originally, <laughs> all these screws, they were like three inches apart, and then I have changed it to either an inch and a half apart or an inch apart, depending on what kind of knife is being displayed. Uh, because when I first set all this up, um, well, I had about half the knives that I have now and as you can tell It is filling up quickly. I still have a, a few spaces But I am running out of room and so what I might end up having to do is take down my Miller light sign and my little kitty cat sign there and Run another shelf up above here so that I can hang some more knives But before I do that I still have room over here for quite a few more knives. I even have a shelf that is completely empty right now. As a matter of fact, this is not even screwed in place. All I have done so far, I haven't even marked where I'm going to put in the, uh, the, uh, the screws yet. I've just brought the shelf over, cut it to size. Um, I have marked where I want to put in the next shelf, but I have not actually screwed the shelf in because first I want to get this wall painted over here. So you can see that I do have a little room to, for growth and I also have the long run here. And speaking of here, you see my uh, collection of uh, playing cards and what that is, is there's a one by two underneath and then uh, basically, no, uh, yeah, one by two underneath and then a one by three, I believe, up front here, so that the cards can actually sit there on the shelf. But uh, that's what I did with that shelf. It's uh, just something specifically for the cards. And that's pretty low on the uh, the thing. This is really at about hip, hip height. Um, this shelf is right at chest height for me. And this one is right at the top of my head. So that's the way I've done that. And obviously, one of the reasons I did this uh, side over here was for my sticker board and I'm still always looking for stickers. So if you got a sticker you want to send me for trade, let me know. I'd love to see a new sticker. Here's one of my latest one, Sasquatch Preservation Society. Any case, uh, that's what I did. It's a lot of cup hooks to screw in uh, and so and it's also a lot of wood to screw together because every screw in this thing was done by hand. So it was a lot of screwing. Well, eventually the screwing ended up being done by a small uh, cordless screwdriver because <laughs> I just got old. But originally all those screws were also being done by hand. But every cup hook has been done by hand. So it uh, does take a little time, does take a little energy. But I think in the end, it was a good idea, at least for me.
Thanks for dropping by Knife Chats with Tobias. Don't forget to give us that thumbs up, leave a comment below, and subscribe and ring that notification bell so you know when the next episode is up and online.